Right, this is the uh, compost heap that we're trying to copy and um, assemble at Carolyn's allotment. What are you doing there? Are you denailing de the wood? Okay, Carolyn, what are you doing? Did you ever put an article <laughs> in the report about this recycling? Me. I'm sorry. Um, and these are the pieces that are going to go on the, on the side of the compost bin. Okay, so we're trying to get as much ready as we can here and then take it down to the allotment. Okay. So, Karen, what have we done so far? Okay, so so far we've we've created this beautiful plan for the compost bays. Um, we sorted through some scrap wood in the garden, um, which has had a very long life. It started out as uh, floorboards, is that right? Yep. And then a fence. Um, then we took any old nails out, just for safety, mm -hmm. and we did some measuring up. Um, we've now carted that all into the back of the car and we're actually ready to start putting it together on the plot. Thank you. So this is where we're going to put it. <laughs> and here's all the wood that we've transported. The uprights, the sides, the backs. And now we've got to start get start digging. So The end of the Christmas tree. And meanwhile, you're digging the hole for the first post. Yes, and it's about a foot deep. Hmm. I'd say maybe not quite. Maybe a bit more if we can. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll bang it in as far as we can. So here we are a few days later at the allotment. And we're doing the last of the six posts which will form the framework for this magnificent compost bin that we're making. Beautiful weather. Couldn't be nicer. In fact, it's almost too hot. But let's see if we manage to get on with actually nailing the planks onto these uh, pieces of um, joists that we've got stuck in the soil at the moment. We will report back later. We moved on to the next stage. We are attaching planks to the back. Mm -hmm. um, and what we've been doing is we've been laying them like this, marking them out with the, the lovely drill there, um, laying on the ground, popping in the nails just a little bit to place them. Um, and then someone's been holding these up as we've been driving them in. And we've been using about two nails for each post mm -hmm. and they've been a bit wonky um, but through uh, determination and long <laughs> nails <laughs> and <laughs> using some extra nails we've managed to and make it look quite good so far. And we're just going to go to four planks high? Yes. Okay. We're gonna go we'll leave a gap. About, yeah. about yeah. here. Yeah. Um, and then, then cut these down. And then do it with the sides and then sort out the front later. Yes. Okay so as you can see we've put all the, the sides on now. Um, which took us a wee while and our our next phase is that we need to put some extra sort of guide planks um, at the front and it's going to create like a little gap that we can then slide some cut planks in just as I build up the compost and I'll be able to just make sure it stays in and doesn't mm -hmm. fall out. Yep. We've finally done it, it's finished. Can um, you illustrate how the front works? Yes, yeah, so um, these are the guide posts I was talking about earlier. Uh, we fixed them in and just created enough of a gap so that we could slot in these planks that were sawed up. And what's um, the purpose of that? So basically we will start off... I can take that <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off with one of these, um, maybe. With and, the as, and as the compost builds up. As the up. compost builds up, we'll be placing more yeah. of these in. And then when it's finished, you can take them all out and just dig it out. Yes, exactly. 
So it's been a long hard day, just need to maybe trim off the tops when yeah. we get enough energy to do that. And just maybe do a bit of protection of some of the... Yes, some of the wood, which is not in brilliant condition. Yeah. But yeah, we did it and we didn't have to buy any materials in apart from the nails. That's true. So yeah, well done us. Well done us.